Oh, this is Chad, Chad Abbott. To be honest, I'm excited to see this one. Really? Why yeah. is that? I don't know because um this is one name I remember from yesterday's stream and I think you said it was from Barbados. So yeah, just a lot. All right. Well, Ashley, you, you know your job. Run it. Okay. Do you think our community would benefit from more crimes? Well, abolishing school rules is a detriment to our impressionable youth. This would cause a surge in bullying and isolation in schools a gradual increase in criminal activity and less responsible adults. All right. Chad, what is what is the question? I'm sorry, you didn't submit the question. Okay, so this is what we're working with. Uh, school rules violate the personal uh, freedom of students and should be abolished. Right, an essay giving your views on this. All right, Ashley. Uh, Ashley, you you're, you already read the first paragraph, right? Yes, sir. Uh, what, what do we think about it? Um, the vocabulary is up to um form five level. Um, he did list the three points at the end. The hook wasn't bad. Um, the teacher statement, uh, but it was it was good overall. Yeah, to be honest, I find I find it was good too. Um, uh, however. I'm seeing um, some things. Okay, yeah. first of all, um, the well abolishing school rules is a determinant to our to our impressionable youth. I like the word impressionable, but starting it with well. I was going to say that um, I think it, it I think it's suitable because of the hook because he is speaking directly to us. Do you mm. think our community would benefit from more crime? And then he continued, well, so because he made it personal and speaking directly to us, I mm -hmm. think it's appropriate. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Um, is the rhetorical question um, strong enough? So I, I don't have anything against the question. I, I, I think it's fine because, like you said, it makes us reflect. Um, mm -hmm. However, the line that immediately follows should link to that, yes. to that question. That is the main issue I have. Mm -hmm. It sounds like you you kind of have two hooks instead yeah, of one flowing. Yeah. Right. So do you think our community would benefit from more crimes? Well, by abolishing school rules, uh, or abolishing school rules would result in a higher crime rate. So mm -hmm. whatever comes after the well, it has to be answering the question of the hook. Whether directly or indirectly, you have to be answering that question instead of coming up with like another sideways point, right? Because you're saying it's a detriment, but what you really should do is link it to the crime, right? Or make the hook more general. Or merge these two and create one, like, like a different question. For example, how can one think that eliminating rules would... would contribute to the order in society or something like that if you want to use a question that directly relates to um personal freedom and the abolition of school rules but for right now the hook is okay it's a it's a fine question but the follow-up isn't strongly connecting to the hook yeah, that's my so main like, problem even if you want to connect this like the sentence is fine but you can add to it so well, abolition school rules is a detriment to our impressionable youth leading to higher crime or more crime or something that links mm -hmm. it back to the crime. You can just drop it right here. I have an issue okay. with just dropping in adults here. Because we're talking about school age children, we're talking about students um, and their personal freedom. And then you just drop in less responsible adults. So mm. it should have like it should develop into adulthood rather than just the reading to our life of crime and less responsible adults. Mm, um, yeah. Yeah, I, I have a, I have an issue with, with adults just dropping in there. Yeah. And um, uh, another thing about the points is um, the prompt reads, school rules violate the personal freedom of personal students, freedom. Which, which means the points should actually not just center about why rules are important, but they should connect to how the rules impact 
the freedom, the autonomy of students. So these points are kind of general points about school rules and why we need them, but they are not really focusing on how they relate to personal freedom. So I'd prefer to see three points that are more connected because remember, you're, you're writing an essay on the prompt. I'd, be, I'd like to see three points that are more connected to, okay, freedom would be infringed in these three ways um, or, or freedom would not be infringed or, or um, freedom would actually be promoted if we include rules because without rules, you know, you, you'll find a way to, to link it. But you have to make sure that the personal freedom aspect is not forgotten about in the, in the, whole, in the whole essay. Right? Because some people are saying that the rules violate the freedom. If you have rules, you're not free. So you should either be for or against that. Do you think that school rules create an oppressive system? If you do, give us three reasons why. Do you think that school rules um, do not infringe on your freedom, but maybe instead school rules help you to be free? Because look at it this way. If there are no rules, then Somebody is free to punch you in the face. Is that freedom? Are you free in a place where anybody can do anything to you? That's not freedom. So you have to take a stance and connect it to the freedom. I'm not seeing where you're focusing on the personal freedom. I see where you're just focusing on the rules and how that might impact society overall. Yeah, um, so I think I you could zone in on the focus of the essay. I agree, Adam. Also, one of the things that I, I, I did notice is that he just went straight to crime, basically. And remember, school rules, it's not only about um, no bullying and these things, but also proper attire, mm -hmm. wearing of proper school shoes, like, for instance, for us in Trinidad. Um, I know this is not the case with all Caribbean countries, but most schools, if you have black shoes, it must be all black, must not have a tick on it or anything like that. Um, even like the hairstyles that young girls wear, um, wearing a few jobs, like all these things, school rules impact those things and not just so much bullying and crime. So it's a lot of, a lot of discipline that comes into it, not just, I, not just in terms of crime and bullying and fighting, but also how you carry about yourself, punctuality, um, how you dress, to, how you attire yourself at school, all those things could have been mentioned here in terms of personal freedom, right? Um, boys may not be able to wear long hair at school, right? That is also a personal choice, right? So I, I just think that some of these points could have been highlighted rather than jumping straight to crime. Actually, actually, I, I find that's a very good point because that's that's so true that school really doesn't only prepare you for like it's it's not only about crime and stuff. It also relates to like um, your attire for the work for the workplace and all that. And the amount of times, oh my gosh, the amount of times my school had to send me home for or long hair and stuff and <laughs> and um, not having the proper shoes or pants or something so i totally agree with that that it's it's really about you know from um curbing the students for the future and not only mm. for like um, crimes and stuff yeah, yeah i think that when you look at the, the prompt itself because it would have stated explicitly violate personal freedom that's the target there. That is what we need to focus on. Right. So it, it needs to be more focused. So imagine a hook like this. Um, Im imagine a world of lawlessness and chaos. Im imagine a world where you cannot walk the streets. Is this your idea of personal freedom? And then are you connected to, let's not think that, you know, rules are there to stop us from being free. That's basically the idea you want to bring forward in your introduction. The rules are not infringing on our freedom. It's really, it's training us to be free in a, in a, in a world where there are structures, there are rules, and, you know, we can't just do whatever we want. 
So you would need to link both the hook and the thesis. Well, you need to link the hook, the thesis, and the three points to the idea of personal freedom and how that is um, and how that connects to school rules. Yeah. So these points do not really get into the freedom aspect. But let, let's get into it though. We have to move much faster than this if we're gonna be on time. Ashley, run it, please. To begin with, rules and regulations in schools create safety and order within the compound and allow socially inept students to feel secure. Removing this anchor would allow for bullies and mischievous children to pick on them with zero repercussions and would drastically affect the victims' mental stability and well-being. Studies reveal that 15% of bully victims in schools take their lives each year. Removing rules would boost that percentage. Wow. If only these points connected to the prom uh, more strongly. Because this is a wonderful paragraph. I like this paragraph. Same. I do. And I do love the evidence that he provided. You know what? If, if I could change this prompt to suit your essay, right? If I could reword the prompt for you, I think your essay would, would probably be masterful. But unfortunately, going throughout the essay, you're always going to have that issue of not targeting the, the, um, the personal freedom aspect. But let me judge the paragraph for what it is. All right? You have, a, you have a transition here to begin with. Rules and regulations in schools create safety and order within the compound. And, and I like your vocabulary here. And allow socially inept, right? Not, not, not all students are really very sociable and they're not all students are outspoken. Some are a bit more awkward, a bit more reserved, but it allows even those students to feel secure because of the rules. Rules are in place. So they know that student, others can just come and punch them in the face. Removing this anchor, very nice piece of vocabulary there because the rules are, are acting as an anchor that really holds everything down. It's a nice use of metaphor as well. Removing this anchor would allow for bullies to bullies and mischievous children to pick on them with zero repercussions. I'm wondering if this sounds a little bit too colloquialish with zero repercussions, but uh, maybe it's just personal style. And would drastically affect the victim's mental stability and well being. Studies, um, more credibility could. Could have been had here if you tell me where the studies are from or who conducted the studies studies reveal that 15 percent of bully victims in schools take their lives each year full stop removing rules or abolishing rules would boost boost sounds like a positive word word so find a synonym that has a more negative connotation that percentage all right. I think your paragraph flows well and it has good vocabulary. It's just the points I, I have a little issue with. But what do we think? I think that the elevated vocabulary is amazing. I, I love his use of vocabulary. His transitional words are really, um, are really well used. Mm. Um, however, he kind of missed the prompt for me. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. So that... Um, Personal, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello, baby. <laughs> oh, go, go ahead, Miss Miss Burke. I'm sorry. Go ahead. You can go ahead and mute. You can mute. It wasn't for the crowd. Um, it will have to be really well written. It's good. It's really good. And I just missed the the personal freedom aspect of the prompt, which is actually what the question is asking. All right. Ashley, take us through the next paragraph, please. Secondly, without secondly, without rules and consequences to breaking them, students will grow up believing that they are free to do whatever they please. This can result in many of the student body to evolve into criminals in society, endangering the public. This would also turn this would also in turn lessen the number of employed personnel due to some if not most students, if not most students not passing classes, as many students hand in assignments because they are required. Admittedly, not all students are irresponsible or lax. 
and may still grow up to be respectable citizens and contributing members of society while being mature. But in general, most students enjoy having fun and do not yet understand the importance of rules and education. I think what um we can we can kind of call it um for, for this essay because what we'll be doing is we'll be analyzing more paragraphs that don't really connect to this thing about personal freedom. The the paragraphing, the paragraph, the individual paragraphs are written well, generally. Um, the vocabulary is fine and so on, but we are we are not really seeing an essay that deal with personal freedom we're seeing an essay that deals with why we need rules in general why we need school rules in general right so uh i hope there will be a chance chad for us to see the revised version of this essay where you just align the points to fit the prompt all right so that's that's the main the main thing with this essay you're writing if this this would have been one of the one of the best essays over the past couple of sessions if it was aligned to the to the to the prompt but because of that we're gonna just have the same issue with every paragraph coming up uh would this would the student pass i mean i think even though the the writing is good the student would not get um mm -hmm. in, in mm -hmm. enough marks in terms mm -hmm. of content content wise so the grade would be subpar Based on the rubric, there will be sections where the student would, would be able to get some marks for expression, but also there will be um, points on the rubric, rubric where the student wouldn't be able to get marks because they are not answering the question. So the points would, would not be uh, very relevant to the prompt. 